want to discuss the top ten worst movies I've ever seen. Because I'm a bona fide cinephile with film opinions that you should take as gospel truth. And I'm also a future attorney, and you know what that means. That's right. I would never, ever lie to you. So let's get started, shall we? Number ten, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. There's a cardinal rule in cinema that you should never reference a better movie within your crappy one. If one of the better movies you're constantly referencing is Paul Blart Mall Cop 1, there's a problem, because that movie sucks. But it's Oscar-worthy gold compared to this dreck. Number nine, Birdemic, Shock and Terror. It certainly is shocking and terrifying how horrible this movie is, so at least the title is fitting. And there are some scenes with unintentionally hilarious bird special effects, but not much else of no. The movie tries to tack on some messaging about global warming to pretend to be deeper than it really is, but all it'll make you want to do is increase your carbon footprint fivefold, purely out of spite. Sorry, Al Gore. All your efforts were for nothing. Number eight, Reanimated. This obscure TV movie premiered on Cartoon Network in 2006, and it's nothing but 80 minutes of LOL XD random humor, because that's what kids these days find hilarious, right? You know what's more hilarious than this movie? Getting all of your teeth violently ripped out. <laughs> Believe me, I've compared. That's why I have dentures in my mid-twenties. <laughs> Number seven, High School Musical. This one might be controversial, but I don't care. This movie sucks. It has no plot, the acting is absolutely horrible, and it's boring, bland, saturated, cliche trash. And the music in this movie would not be out of place on an episode of Barney. Now why not? I'm not the target demographic of this movie, but I'm not the target demographic of any Disney Channel movie, and I can say something positive about nearly everyone I've seen except for this stinker. I understand if you have a nostalgic attachment to it or whatever, it still sucks. Deal with it. <laughs> Number six, Manos, the Hands of Fate. Manos actually means hands in Spanish, so the title of this movie is Hands, the Hands of Fate. <laughs> How creative. This movie was actually made as part of a bet, and the director of this movie was a fertilizer salesman. I guess if this guy sold giant piles of shit for a living, then from a certain point of view, this movie was his magnum opus. But only from a certain point of view. Number five, Jack and Jill, starring Adam Sandler. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck this movie. That's all the explanation you need. Let's move on. Number four, movie 43. I never bothered to watch movies one through 42, so I don't know how they compare. <laughs> As for movie 43, I can say this about it. If ever there was a Lifetime Achievement Award and blacklisting and blackmailing A-list talent to be part of your shitty production, this thing would win it in a landslide. That's where the accolades end. This movie is the cinematic equivalent of AIDS. Number three, any terrible mockbuster, really. You know mockbusters, those cheap rip-offs of popular films that come out around the same time to try to trick your grandmother into buying them. You know, the ones. <laughs> These things, at least the worst ones, are usually equally terrible. Terrible for similar reasons. I don't really feel the need to distinguish one as the worst. But if you really want a particular example, because, I don't know, you're a giant loser with no life, just like me, then I guess I'll highlight uh, The Amazing Bulk, or What's Up, Balloon to the Rescue. <laughs> Watch them on your own time if you want to know just how terrible they are. Actually, don't. Do literally anything else. Get a life, loser. Number two, any movie made by Jason Friedberg and Aaron Seltzer. Whether it's Epic Movie, Disaster Movie, Meet the Spartans, Pick Your Poison. For about a decade or so, these two imbeciles released a barrage of terrible, terrible spoof movies that were a cancer on our society. But they haven't made a new one since 2015, and let's hope that trend continues. Because the humor in the movies can all be summed up thusly. Look, it's Batman. And he just said, I'm Batman. Because he said that line in a popular movie. Oh no, he just got punched in the face by the Hulk. And he said, Hulk smash. Because that's a line he says. And then Batman crashed into Paris Hilton. Remember her? And then Paris <laughs> Hilton said, that's hot. Because remember her catchphrase? And then somebody shits their pants. 
That was the worst joke in the history of humankind. And it was still funnier than anything in one of those piece of shit movies. Sorry, my soul momentarily left my body. And now, the moment nobody's been waiting for. The number one worst movie I've ever seen is... August Underground. Well, because of this movie, I no longer acknowledge the month of August. As far as I'm concerned, July has 62 days. The word underground in the title is quite fitting, though, because that's precisely where every copy of this abomination should be buried. This is a found footage horror movie that's trying to be Henry, portrait of a serial killer. But in the end, it just ends up being garbage, portrait of trash. <laughs> And that's my list, everyone. Did you agree with it? Uh, disagree with it? Either way, I don't care. Um, and I probably won't be back here for a little while, because I'll be busy. So, uh, till then, stay safe, be well. Sorry I had to do one of my weaker sets for y'all tonight. I'll come back with stronger material next time. Thank you very much. Have a great night, as always.